So these are some accessories that I want to talk to you about uh, to help level up. Now one thing that you should know, and this is something that uh, I think surprises a lot of people because they think when, when we talk about awesome supplies, we're talking about maybe an awesome bag, maybe a wafer, and then some powder, maybe some rings, you know, things like that. But there are actually accessories that are out there to help improve the quality of life of patients, and there are many many, many of these. Um, many different brands, a lot of products might be even handmade and people are selling them online like through Etsy. So there, there's a lot of products out there um, but it's not something that everyone might need. So you know I'm gonna be talking about some products, I show a lot of products here but to be honest not everyone needs them, not everyone likes some of these products. They might try them and say you know it was just not for me and that's fine. But just knowing that they're out there um, can really help to set you up in case a situation comes up where okay now maybe I'm playing contact sports well, now what am I supposed to do so you know there's a product for that now another thing to keep uh, in mind is that a lot of these are custom made so you can't just go to you know your your, your local health um, medical supply store and pick these off the shelf a lot of them will be in stores like that in shops a lot of them are available online a lot of them are through places like Etsy maybe even eBay or Amazon might have stuff like that but some of them are custom made uh, and unfortunately most of them will be covered by insurance now that's one of the reasons why really I think uh, the product reviews that I do are beneficial not only to share my experience but maybe to help save somebody some money because sometimes when you're looking at products like these you know hundred bucks might be a lot it might be a lot if you're having to pay other medical bills and expenses and you know I wouldn't want somebody to go out and automatically buy something without even really knowing what it does or how it works or maybe what someone's experience is with it so um, you know that's something to, to keep in mind so the first product I want to talk about are stoma guards stoma guards are actually really cool but for specific situations like I wouldn't normally wear a stoma guard all the time however if I'm in a situation where I know um, that I might be hit somewhere in the abdomen, I'm definitely going to wear a stoma guard. If I'm moving, you know, uh, scrap wood or something out of the backyard, chances are it's going to hit me somewhere. I, I want to wear a stoma guard. So they offer protection from impact. If you play sports, this might be something to consider. Now they can also help to expand your clothing options. You can see in the large uh, photo in the middle there, that's a stoma guard that actually comes down below the belt line and what it does is it actually protects my stoma from the force of the belt okay uh, that'll also help with seat belts and this particular one will actually help to divert the uh, stool down towards the bottom of the bag so that's that's a pretty nice design stoma guard but it's large you'll notice there are other ones here the one actually in the top left uh, that one is like a, an older version of the one in that center photo but you'll notice the ones around it I mean there are many different sizes some of them attach differently some of them need belts some of them just you know hold in place on their own so there are a lot of options there um, I also find that they help to support the appliance so as your you know your bag gets full stoma guards because they put that pressure on there it really helps to make everything feel lighter but at the same time I have to say a lot of the times these products will reduce the capacity of your appliance so you know you'll notice just in the way they're designed it's not going to allow the uh, awesome bag to fill up you know more than let's say a, a third of the way so you have to be aware of that if you have a very high output stoma I probably would not recommend something like that a lot of people don't like the fact that they can be bulky uh, and in certain situations I've worn stoma guards that are just uncomfortable like they just I'd rather not have one than have it so you, you really need to find one that's going to work for your body shape, for your application. You know, what are you trying to achieve? Are you trying to specifically find ways to maybe wear, you know, your appliance tucked into your pants? Are you specifically looking for something to protect from a seatbelt? You know, are you playing sports? You know, these are all questions you should ask yourself um, if you're looking for a product like this. Uh, I mentioned that they can restrict flow, but these often end up being expensive um, accessories. Now, unfortunately, I've seen some that are like over $300. From what I understand, they're like bulletproof. 
basically. So, like, if you're if, if you're like in the army or something, that might be something rugged enough uh, for you. Uh, I know actually a lot of uh, firefighters, police officers. They'll they'll wear stoma guards just because of all the equipment that they have to wear and the fact that you know they might get into a tussle. Um, it's very important for them. But again. You need to take into account how big they are, how comfortable they are. Can, will they allow you to bend? You know, and that sort of thing. Uh, the second category I would say are support belts and support garments. Now I kind of bundle them all up inside the same category, but they 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 serve different purposes. So you'll notice that there, you know, I would consider these all support belts or support garments, but there are many different styles. You know, you've got a, like a band over there, you've got a belt up there, uh, you've got another belt, this one actually attaches to the appliance itself, but it doesn't cover anything. So there are many styles and they're actually more than just those. These can really help to support the weight of an ostomy bag. So if you have a stoma that's um, high output, the style, especially the one on the bottom right, that will help to keep the appliance First of all, closer to your skin and not pull off, okay? But it'll also help to reduce the weight if you're um, doing exercise or sports, running, that sort of thing. You know, if you're bouncing, sometimes that extra weight in your appliance can cause problems. And these will really help to uh, reduce that. Uh, the wrap on the left side there, that's one that the appliance would actually still be uh, vertical. Um, but that actually, it helps to keep things nice and flat. I do wear those on occasion, but the one that I really like is the one on the top. Now, that's not for everyone. I have to say that right off the bat. Uh, that particular product is the hybrid Stealth Belt. Stealth Belt makes a bunch, of different, um, a bunch of different belts. Some of them are vertical, some of them are diagonal. There are other companies that make similar style belts, but I'm actually wearing my appliance sideways Okay, in that photo. I'm actually wearing a Stealth Belt right now, and I do have it sideways. Now, what are the advantages to something like that? Because it's definitely not for everyone. So you have to understand there are cer certain limitations. That allows me to actually wear a shirt tucked in without my appliance going like under or below the belt line. That to me, I think, is huge. Um, it helps with mobility. If I'm bending, if I'm you know sitting, it, it doesn't create any. Um, it doesn't pinch the bag off. It doesn't you know restrict flow or anything like that. So that's, that's something that I like, and I, I actually, uh, I've had a stealth belt pretty much since my surgery. I think that was the first accessory that I got. Now these can also help to conceal your appliance. Uh, I also happen to wear a clear ostomy bag pretty much all the time, uh, and nobody wants to see that. So wearing some of these um, can help. You'll notice there in the bottom, I am wearing a clear bag. In that particular style, I can actually wear a pouch cover over it, so that works well. And uh, pouch covers can also help to conceal things. But you know, most of the time, if you're just like going out, if you're going to the gym, if you're going to the beach, a lot of people say they can't even really tell what that is. They might think that it's just like a, a support band, you know, for your back or something. So it's it's really cool. It's a great option, uh, and they come in like different styles and patterns. Now, um, like with other products that kind of go over your appliance, these can have a tendency to reduce the capacity of your appliance. The wraps in particular, I tend to find that they uh, bend in the middle, and you can actually see the bend, uh, or the bend line there uh, in the photo, and sometimes, depending on the consistency of your output, it may create pancaking, and that is the output actually doesn't go down to the bottom of the bag, it stays closer to the top and around the stoma, and that gets really frustrating. So keep that in mind if you're considering products like this. Um, they're not for everyone, but some people really do like them. Don't you have that problem with that stealth belt? So no, and I've actually, I've, like had to, right over I've had to write an article essentially justifying why horizontal uh, appliances work so well. And for me, you know, it, it and I, I might actually do uh, a test where I measure the capacity before it reaches my stoma, because there, you actually get length. So the, the stool can actually fill up a lot in the bottom, even though it's sideways. Whereas when it's uh, vertical, it has probably the same capacity before it hits you know, where your stoma line is. I'm gonna have to probably do an experiment, but I personally don't find that it, that it affects my wear time. In fact, the way some of these belts are designed, they put a little bit of pressure uh, around your appliance, and that might actually help to give you a better seal. So that's something to consider. I also find that because the weight isn't on my, um, like it's not tugging a lot, I find that 
I don't get leaks really at all, um, especially if I get lazy and I let my bag fill up a little more than normal. So no, I don't find too many challenges with that. It is awkward to empty the appliance. Like I'll be honest, that's, there's a learning curve to that. You might have to adjust your position when you're emptying. But you know, I think the advantages for me personally, they outweigh any of the disadvantages. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'd be more than happy to answer more questions about that because a lot of people are like, how does that work? Now I wouldn't recommend something like that or to wear an appliance horizontally if you have a high output stoma. Um, or even a urostomy or anything like that. I think these are more appropriate for ileostomates. Whether you have thicker or, or, or thin consistency, thin consistency we can actually deal with in a separate way, but I find that they work better with thicker output. You know, colostomates would, would really uh, value that product more than, let's say, urostomate would. And the guy who owns stealth belts, they're, they're, they're awesome. Yeah, Richard. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And I've met actually a couple of the the guys from Stealth Belt. They're they're really good people. They they really do want to help. But I mean, like I said, there are other brands out there. They make similar products. I've done a couple of comparisons with other brands. You know, they all serve the same function. So whatever's available to you, you get it. Stealth Belt happens to be an American company. So for you guys, it might be easier to get Stealth Belt. But you know, they've probably been around the longest. So they'll have different patterns for those. You know, they have some that are like. They look more like, like lace. So for intimacy, that might be an advantage there. That particular one, that's a hybrid. So that actually has like a neoprene. That blue part is neoprene. So that actually acts as like a stoma guard. Um, probably not one that I would want to get like a football uh, in my abdomen, but it works for most things, which is kind of cool. So gelling products, gelling products. I, I love gelling products. These are a product that I don't think a lot of people know about, but when they find them, they're like, why didn't I know about this earlier? So gelling products are really cool. They usually come in these little sachets. Sometimes they come in capsules. Sometimes they come in tablets. Sometimes you actually have to scoop it out of like a, a container and put it in your ostomy bag. But what it does is it actually helps to solidify liquid output. And it happens very quickly. Uh, I, I have actually a couple of reviews on, on various products where in real time I have a cup and I drop one of these packets in there and the cup in real time is just jellifying right before your eyes. It's really cool. It's like magic. Um, now there are different types. This one here is uh, like a, it, it basically comes out like a white gel. Uh, there's another product by um, Convitec, I think, sells them called Diamonds. It's actually one of the first products that I tried in the gelling product lines. Those also work very well. A little bit different in the way they're designed, but they serve the same function. I've tried like the, the tablets and the pills and whatnot. Personally, I like the sachets. I think they dissolve really quickly and they work probably the most consistently out of all the different styles. Uh, but I would imagine even the powdered one works. It's just not convenient. You can travel with these. Um, but what I find these to be very helpful for, even if you have thick or dry output and you don't necessarily need to thicken anything up if you have the flu or you know you, you get food poisoning um, if you have to have like a bowel prep for whatever reason your bag is gonna fill up it's gonna be liquidy it's gonna be more difficult to manage I usually just pop some of these in there and I'm good to go it makes emptying a lot easier for me compared to like when it's liquid output um, it reduces the chance of leaks, I find, because usually liquid is much easier to get under your wafer than a gel would be. So there, there are actually quite a few advantages to this. But again, it's not something that everyone would use all the time. But it's nice to have like in your emergency kit. Now one of the, the downsides to a product like this, especially the ones in like the little plastic sachets, because those plastics, they actually just dissolve in water. You have to be really careful uh, when storing them and traveling with them, because if they get into contact with humidity, they might stick together, they might become all like weird and they're not easy to manage. Uh, the diamonds one actually comes in like a paper sachet. So that one's a little bit better. It handles the humidity a lot better. Um, so that might be another a thing to consider. And these may not work in certain circumstances. Now this is actually a true story. I went to review one product and at the time I didn't really have liquid output. I wasn't expected to have liquid output any time, but I, I wanted to get a review done. So I started drinking prune juice because I know prune juice gives me liquid output very quickly. And I started using the product and I thought, it's not doing anything. 
thought, how weird is that? So I tried another one, nothing. I put it in water, worked like no problem. I thought, well, what is happening here? Is it just defective when I want to use it? So I contacted the manufacturer, and as it, as it turns out, that particular product, for whatever reason, they said that the potassium in that prune juice affected the product, so it didn't work as well or it didn't work at all. So that might be something to consider. If you think that you're just going to stick these in, you know, drink your prune juice, and it may not work. So you have to be careful. I would probably test it if I'm going to be traveling, let's say, with a product. So I usually carry products that I know have worked for me and are consistent. Uh, but that's something just to keep in mind. You might be on maybe medication that might be doing the same thing. So just keep that in mind. Another product that not very many people know about, but it, it can come in very handy, and I know a lot of people uh, that are on my forum, they'll, they'll use this, are ostomy vents. Now, I say ostomy vents, but there's really only one major brand that makes this, uh, and the product is called the Osto Easy Vent. You, you see it down on the bottom there by a company called Chem Enterprises. Now, this is a very cool, unique product. For most of us, we rely on the filters on our appliance to kind of actively get rid of gas, right? Without us having to do anything. But as many of you know, filters don't tend to work that well, especially when they get clogged up because you have maybe liquid or loose output. So there's a solution to that. Um, now the way this product works, and it's, it's pretty ingenious, you actually stick it on to essentially any ostomy bag. And I've put these on many different products, uh, and, they, and it all seems to work. The vent goes on. Uh, you actually cut a little hole so you know it, it goes through the vent and then you just close it it's like a little plastic tab and what happens is if you have pouch ballooning or you have to for whatever reason burp your appliance you know get rid of that gas you can just open that vent carefully because there are certain situations where you don't want to open the vent laying down is probably not a time to open the vent um, in the company of other people because it will not deodorize so you need to keep that in mind uh, but you just open that up and it will essentially get rid of the gas that's building up in your bag. Now I have had people come to me and say, you know, I've had major issues with ballooning. I don't want to change my appliance and I don't want to really change my diet or maybe they have tried to change their diet and it just hasn't worked. What can I do? Because I don't want to really burp my bag the traditional way, which for some people if they have a two-piece, it's maybe cracking it open a bit or, or opening up the bottom carefully, but that can be messy. Okay, it's, that's risky. So a lot of people have said they use the product and it works really well. But again, it's not for everyone, but if that's a problem that you have, this is a really interesting product that not many people know about that could help. 